is up everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be testing out tiktok hacks so some of them are going to be more viral and some are just going to be ones that i have kind of found and i've just really been wanting to try out so if you want to try some hacks with me then let's get started okay so the first one that we are going to be trying out is the most viral whipped iced coffee now I will say I have actually made this before, but I will say I never really drank coffee. I would, If I had a hot drink, it would usually be like hot chocolate or tea. This tastes so, so good. So we're gonna make it together. In most of the videos that I have watched, people do use two tablespoons of coffee. So, we're going to be doing that. Most people have been saying that obviously that's too much coffee, but it does work out just enough. And then also two tablespoons of sugar. Now, we actually use brown sugar and that seems to work just fine. I haven't had any problems with it. And then again, we just put two tablespoons of like boiling water. I've just put some boiling water in a glass here. And then you basically just whisk, whisk, whisk until it is all kind of whipped. So there's a few different ways you can obviously do it. If, if you don't have an electrical whisk, then you can do it by hand. Um, I have done it by hand before if I'm really lazy. Or um, if you have got an actual baking mixer, I've used it with that as well. But these are really great as well. You can literally get these little whisks off Amazon and that works really, really well just to kind of whisk it really quickly without any effort. We have this little handheld whisk. These are great too. Um, and I literally just swirl it around a little bit just to see if it's the right consistency I want. Sometimes I whip it so that it literally is really thick where it isn't actually running down. But today I'm just going to leave it like this. So now all you need to do is you need some sort of glass or cup, whatever you want, and some ice. And I'm just going to pop them in. I usually just put this in first and then some milk but i don't really think it actually really matters that much you can put the milk in first and the coffee at the end of the day it's all going to the same place <laughs> there we go and of course you can use any milk you want and just pop that in and then you just want to mix it all together Now, just a taste test. Always so good. This is a 10 out of 10 for me, so I would definitely recommend. Oh my god. So good. Okay, so for the second hack, we are still in the kitchen now. When I watched this, I was like, oh my gosh, why have I never tried this before? Now, if you like grapes, then you will probably like this hack. So first of all, we are going to need some grapes. So luckily we do actually have some right now. And all you're literally going to do is take some grapes. I'll probably put them in a little bowl or something and put them in the freezer frozen grapes so we're gonna leave them in there for a couple of hours come back and see see what they're like so I've got a little glass bowl here I'm just gonna pop them in there put them in the freezer for a couple of hours okay so a little bit annoying but I'm gonna stand here like this but here are my grapes let's give it a go I'm trying to think of a way to describe the texture, but I just, I can't explain it. Like, I've had a texture like that before, but 
I, I don't know how to explain it. But it's actually really good. I didn't think I was going to be able to bite into it because it's obviously been in the freezer. So I was more thinking it was going to be like an ice cube. But it's actually still surprisingly, it's like really soft. Um, but obviously it's not juicy. Anyway, try it. I give this a 10 out of 10 as well. In the summer, this would be absolutely great. You know, sitting in the garden, cocktail, grapes, frozen grapes. Oh. Yeah, so we are on to hack number, I can't remember. Anyway, so this is the classic e-girl hairstyle. <laughs> So obviously people have actually been doing this by actually dyeing their hair. I've been very tempted to do it. The more people tell me not to have it, the more I'm like, I'm gonna do it. But I have obviously not done it yet. If I do do it, I'll do it for a video, but it's not come to that yet. So what people basically obviously do in the video, they have the two strands at the front of the hair, a different color or just blonde. So for the hack, they use like a concealer and they will paint the two front parts of the hair and then put like a colour on top of it. So I was choosing between a few concealers to use for this. Now I do have my P. Louise bases which I think will work really well but I am going to use the Rimmel London Lasting Radiance Concealer because it's got an applicator I think it would just be so much faster to just put it on. And then as for a colour, I'm just going to do a pink colour and a lot of people have just been using a powder. So I've got this MAC uh, single colour in bright pink, which I will probably use. But I do have one of the P. Louise and M -M -M Mitchell acid rain colours. This is in Raver, which is a really nice bright pink. So I think this will work really well, actually. So I'm going to try this out. And I mean... I don't really see how this can go very wrong. I am just going to brush my hair out. My hair is like so static today because I washed it and it's like, can you see that? That's really annoying. So, my hair's already in a middle parting. So I'm gonna just try and make two, oh God, two equal parts here. That looks all right. Do I want it that big? Oh, it's just gonna wash out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then... Oh wait. I think that will be fine. Right, so... I should actually get a hairband and just tie my hair back, but... I'm just gonna put this... behind me. And I'm just gonna brush these out again. They look pretty. Oh, there's a little bit there. Oh well. That looks fine to me. Look how static my hair is. Seriously. I am going to start with this side. I'm literally just going to go in and start to cover my hair. This is so strange. Okay. I wonder if I should actually go for it with one of the bases instead because. Right, I've got myself a scrunchie. I'm gonna tie my hair back because it is in my way. I'm gonna try and use a P. Louise base. I have got it in what shade? 0 0.5, so really, really light. And I'm literally just gonna use this brush. This is stained red from face paint, so that's great. Let's try this again. It's a look. <laughs> okay, so that is it all dry. It feels um interesting. And I'm really sorry for the light change. It is mm, looking very summery outside. This is what we are working with right now, which is absolutely awesome. That actually looks really 
good. Okay, so this is what the hair looks like all done. I actually think it looks pretty sick. Not gonna lie. I do actually really like it. So, mm, do I think I should dye it? Yeah. Is it a bad idea? Probably. Um, it's definitely, it looks really kind of patchy with the concealer and powder and everything, but I mean, for it being makeup, it looks really, really good. And me having really dark hair, like, I think it looks so good. So I'm so pleased with this. We will, um, why I might get my mum and my brother's reaction. To be honest, they're so used to me doing weird stuff like this, so let's see how they react. <laughs> What do you think of my hair? Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> you painted it or something? No, I thought I've dyed it. Oh my weird. Have you proper dyed it? Yeah. That's permanent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that actually suits you, I think. No, it's like... yeah, I'm joking. It's not actual permanent, but... Yeah, yeah no, it, I think, to be fair, it suit you. Yeah, it does suit you. Oh, okay, so I think this is a success it's really good for kind of trialing out different hair colors if you are nervous about permanently coloring your hair so like i said i don't really know if i'm gonna do it or not you know quarantine don't know how long it's gonna go for go on for but this is probably like the perfect time to do it so we will see but we've got a few more hacks left over so let's get on yeah, so i'm fresh out of the shower now and my hair is already drying now all clean most of the makeup came out of my hair you can see there's still a little bit but i mean when you're like looking straight at me you're not gonna be able to tell so i don't really mind so i'm just gonna brush my hair out and everything while i kind of talk to you about my hair so i have always i mean my hair is dead straight it's just naturally really straight i haven't done anything i haven't blow dried my hair this is how it is when it air dries so it's really hard for me to curl my hair because the curls just never ever stay in for me i have tried so many heatless curls over many years this is the dressing gown waist tie thing i can't remember the name of it i'm sitting on it um where people are obviously doing it tiktoks of this where they're curling their hair with it so you literally put it on top of your head and you basically tie your hair around it and then in the morning when you take it out your hair's really nice and curled <music> in the middle parting so I'm just gonna part them both to the front and just really make sure it's not knotty okay and then to start I'm literally just going to pop this in the middle of my head and what they do is you take kind of the first strand and wrap that around and then you basically just take the strand and add some more hair in and wrap it round. Right, so that is them all done, all curled up. So I'm looking a little bit crazy right now. Got a little bit of a Princess Leia vibe going on. So. I've got high hopes, we will see, um, I'm going to sleep on them and I will check in with you guys again in the morning. Good morning everyone, so it is now the next day, I'm so ready to take these curls out now, I'm definitely looking a little bit crazy now. Before I take them out they were really comfortable to sleep on, a lot more comfortable than my sock curls would be, I would just say like a lot of my hair like here fell out but we'll see. We'll see. So I am going to start taking them out. I'm going to look in my mirror here, down here. It does look pretty good to be fair. 
It's always so satisfying to watch them come out though. Oh, wow, look at that. That, that's amazing. Okay. So, it's so curly down here. Like it looks so good. Like once they drop out a little bit, they'll look so good. And like here at the front, oh my gosh, so curly. For heatless curls, they look so, so good. There's a few bits like, oh, where's it gone now? Oh, they just pop right in. But like at the back here where it's not really that curly, it's just basically kind of the ends. But that looks quite pretty, I guess when it all falls out it will be a lot more kind of wavy which i do really like like it's really curly up here right now but just at the front like at the back you can see that there's really no no curl at all so i will probably put a few tap my curlers and put a few curls in i can't get over how curly that bit is so i wanted to show you kind of how the curls are looking right now i have been out for most of the day um i've been grocery shopping with my mum but i didn't really actually like what the curls looked like on me there was just it was really kind of curled here at the front and then at the back just basically none of it was properly curled so i will say i do probably prefer doing my overnight sock curls the majority of the time they do turn out really well for me but on that it is really good like it did work a lot of it did curl really really nicely but i did recurl a lot of it this is what it kind of looks like right now it has fallen out quite a bit but yeah so that is I would, i'd probably give it like a six or seven out of ten because i have tried better like oh look at that my hair's already going straight so annoying story of my life if you do want to give it a go now we are in lockdown we're staying at home so you may as well experiment a little bit and uh, reduce your heat use so that is the end of this video today i really hope you guys did enjoy if you do have any other video suggestions let me know down below i've got some exciting things planned so keep an eye out for that and i really hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye